the expectations are definitely really high this year. We're expecting a much better season with a really, really big roster with the increased, increased freshman class. So um, we're expecting a big turnaround, especially from last year, and expecting more wins and just a better overall team. We've been close the past two years. Um, I think over the past two years, we had six games that were decided by a touchdown or less. In my four years here, we've had four wins. We are definitely capable of having a winning season, and if not more, I think we're going to be the most surprising team in the Sky Act without a doubt. We have talent across the board, we have experience across the board, and for the first time in years, we have depth. I want Sage and Football to represent like a mean, nasty team that people, you know, just don't want to play. That people kind of see as like people aren't going to quit and uh, get after it every play and uh, just be a nasty team. You know, want to win every game. For the past few years, it's been hard to explain to people why you'd stick with it, with the losses, and especially with how close our losses have been. Um, so I think those few losses in the past few years that were by seven or fewer points, we need to convert those into wins. And as the wins roll into the culture around the program will change, it will improve. And I think the pride that people hold in the program will improve. Guys put in the work, and I think the biggest difference, yes, we've had a different training plan, but it's the commitment. I think we have an elite commitment. We represent two of the most academically rigorous schools in the entire country, but oftentimes we use that as an excuse. We use that as a point to say, we're not supposed to win games because we're the smart school. And I think that when you look at the talent on our team, when you look at our team in general, we can make excellence tradition. We can make winning a tradition.